All right, Malachi here, Kingdom Living St. Bernard's. Okay, guys, you guys have been asking me, sorry I haven't been able to post the video sooner, um, of what we've, I've been feeding the puppies and the dogs. Now, it's a little different with the puppies. I feed them a little more fat, um, and we cook it a little longer. So, in the pot here, I basically have some brown rice. i got three cups of brown rice. It's a big pot. This is going to last in like a meal and a half for everybody. Um, three cups of brown rice, a bag of carrots. i got like 10 yams and 10 white potatoes. Okay, so we boil that in the pot. I boil that for an hour. That's, that's, that's a little extra soft for the puppies. If it was the uh, just for the large dogs, I'd just boil it for probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and they don't need it soft. And then we're just going to mix all that together. Okay, so I'm going to get a big blah, blah. So what am I going to put in this as well? So what we want, generally we want to put some meat in here. So I'm going to add, I've got some chicken hearts, which I'm going to add. That's good for the puppies because it adds the extra fat and some chicken livers as well. Okay, now I'm not gonna bother cooking it. It's already hot in here, so I'm just gonna let it cook as I mix it in. Now normally I would add, um, because some of you will be using kibble. I don't personally use kibble. Um, well, I always have at least a bag of kibble around for, for um, emergency reasons, um, for whatever, if I don't get a meal cooked, I need to give the dogs kibble. Um, so this is what I've been using. Um, it's President's Choice, you can find this at Superstore. I go to a there's a there's a website called food advi dog food dog advisor dot com or dog food advisor dot com and it lists any almost any brand so this they give this a four out of five um, and it is for large breeds chicken and brown rice and um, what do we have glucosamine and chondroitin for the joints now for puppies you don't want to, for large breeds like this you don't want to feed them puppy food there's too many calories so we just go with the regular large breed dog food so you can get that. So I'll usually add a couple cups of that, but I ran out, so we're just going to add, instead what I normally feed is some type of ground beef. I found these uh, burgers on sale. They were frozen already. So, and then as far as vegetables go, green vegetables, i got some kale here. Alright, so chopped, you can use lots of different types of green vegetables. I'm going to throw in some peas as well. Okay, some green peas, you can use broccoli. Um, there's a whole list. Up, uh, spinach, um, such, and I'm basically going to stir all this up, it's getting a little big. So what I'm going to use is ground turmeric or curcumin, this is good for inflammation, it helps out with the joints, so usually I put a half a cup to a cup in there of this big stuff, so it's probably a cup today, half a cup. And we're going to throw in some hemp hearts, some good fiber for the dogs, throw that in the pot as well. And Generally, I would give the larger dogs these. These are omega-6 and 3 fatty acids. You can use fish oils. These are capsules. So I don't want to feed 22 puppies capsules. So I'm just giving them all some coconut oil. All right, we're going to basically throw in half a cup of coconut oil. This is really good for their coat, for their skin, their nails. Gives them a nice sheen to their coat. And then I might throw in some... Uh, some chia seeds with that as well, so they get a little more of the omegas in there. It's like a superfood, so a little bit of chia. So, that's basically it. Okay, so you've got your, for the puppies, you really want your hearts and your livers for the fatties. And if you're not, if you, if you're not going to use kibble like I don't, then some meat in there, all these green vegetables. There's a list of stuff you can find on the internet. Um, I'm going to mix that all together. We're going to put it onto the to the pans and the puppies are going to get fed. This is a book I read called Dead Pets Don't Lie by Joe Artis and Donna Howell. Come here, sweetie. There we go. Um, so I would recommend reading this. This is pretty much why I don't feed kibble to my pets. Um, or very little. Um, it talks about it, the first point, ball point here is why pets are becoming terminally ill and dying prematurely as a result of eating commercial foods. So it's a really good all-tale book. Um, there are some good... Uh, kibbles out there, so if you're going to feed kibble, I would use something that's high-end, high-grade, um, and just do your research and make sure that uh, you're feeding your, God, your dog some uh, good, healthy stuff. Right, now, this is kind of a basic recipe. There's lots on the internet, um, but it's good. They're, they're getting this every day, and I feed it, and that's the you get, they get a fresh meal every day, so. Any questions, just uh, comment below and let me know.